Oh. What's up guys, Stick Specs here, we're here with another video. We had a freaking storage unit. We're back and let's see what's inside, guys. Oh my. A freaking car. And all of this other stuff. I thought it was exciting that we have a car in this unit. Like, when do we get a car in a unit, guys? That's freaking crazy to me. We have all this other stuff. I think we said there's models in here. I see tools. And I think I heard gun parts, guys. Ammo box. Oh. Reloading. Whoa, whoa, what are they reloading? You uh, you reload ammo. First box it says military models. We are, we already know about these models. Monogram, I haven't seen too many monograms, but this is a, probably like a $30 plus model, maybe even a little bit more. Kind of depends. Even if they're like a bigger one like this, I know Ravel. Even if they're bigger, that doesn't mean they're always more expensive. A lot of these are listed for some reason. Today. Like there's a lot of these bigger ones listed. I don't know why. But there is a lot of them. So I would say, I mean, there's three bigger ones in this box. I would say it's at least probably like a hundred bucks, right? Like three of them, average of 30 plus, 30 plus. So that's like a hundred dollar box just alone right here. Woo hoo, 100, that's one sixth. That's actually a nice shirt, but it's, it's just, I mean, it's borderline vintage, but there's nothing on it. These make good rags. But you never know, one shirt could be a thousand bucks. Oh, there it is. Thousand. No, but that's a good 10, 20 bucks. People like all that ratty tatty and stuff like that. Camping stuff? Or is this a nice little sleeping bag? It's a nice one. That's nice, yeah. We might keep this, guys. If we didn't, though, what is that, like easily 20 bucks, right? Honestly, or um, not. I would say we could sell this for like five or 10. We got Uncle back here, hard at work. What up? Stacking up all the boxes nice back here. Trying to get everything to fit in here. Ham box, honey ham, some bolts. This stuff. might help us out to what kind of car this is. Some car parts that I have no idea what is. Atlas. You know, honestly, that's probably 80 to 100 bucks. Sheesh. Copper, a bunch of these little parts. What is it, spark plugs? Those or? are spark plugs. A bunch of spark plugs. And this is part of this assembly right here, these pieces. These are together, I guess. Put those together. So a bunch of car parts. I can't help describe for you guys. I have no idea what I'm looking at in car parts. This is a BW, BWD engine the same thing? technology. Yeah, okay. Dope, dope. I guess we can look one up and then see what that goes to. It's more parts for the cars and stuff. <laughs> Good, no idea. Let me know in the comments, guys, how much money we have right here in value. It's a distributor cap. It's definitely not for this. He must have had another car. Oh, that's a solenoid, right? That right. whatever car that goes to is probably a hundred bucks. Dang. Yeah. Obviously, you can tell by looking at the unit. We're probably gonna find a bunch of car parts. There's literally a car in the middle of the unit. A box of DVDs. That's pretty dope. I'll show a couple out. You guys, let me know if you've watched any of these and if you guys like them. The Last of the Mohicans. That's a good one. It is. Yeah. Young Guns. West World. Troy. Wrath of Titans, Clash of Titans, Clash of Titans again. They got like a series going on over here. Model stuff, more model stuff. Looks like we got a day of model ads again, guys. We're back. I never really saw this brand too much of ours. Uh, yeah, that's a newer brand. It's probably about 20 bucks, I'd say. Maybe even 15. Ooh, there we go, we got receipts. Hobby Lobby, Your receipts here. Oh, uh. all right, so they spent 28 on two of them right there. She spent 30 on one. So I'm guessing they spent 30 like on something like that. Uh, 15 on something like the last one I showed you. This it's is probably dope. a good one. Pretty dope. What's the year? Stingray. All right. Let's get a little bit of weight to it. Okay, that's like paint. Sanding sealer. The models I would mind putting on our whatnot, but I don't think the rest of the stuff I would really. The box that says reloading. What are they reloading technically? Come on, let's see what's going on. Oh. It looks like there might actually be some ammo. Oh, it's not actually, it's like the um, the shells for right? the kit. I don't even know what it's called exactly, but it's not actual ammunition so far, it looks like. A uh, DeLonghi, like, what is this? Peter? I don't even know, that's probably worth a little bit of money on eBay. Yeah, I was getting there. You, you didn't go for that? Like, what is this? It's not ammo, but it's what? You put, well, you they, they, they fired these, and so you use a machine, and you put the little powder stuff in there, and you recap can, it. You recap it, okay. This is money. This thing you have. Whoa, here. here we go. Okay, it's the same thing. It's the casing for them. I kind of knew I said reloading on the side. It makes sense that it'd be that. 
drop these. I just want to see, they're all like things like that. It's like a rifle. It's pretty cool. This right here, this is money. Look, this is the tool you use. So somehow these dies help you with the press. And so that is probably 30, 40 bucks on eBay right there. Just that? Okay. Just that. Oh yeah, you would definitely feel a heaviness to them. But there could be something hidden out there. All right, all right, more tools it looks like. Some parts, maybe, car parts. Central something wrench, it's not in here. I can tell with pretty light. Um, precision fuel pumps, mechanical fuel pump. Feels light as well, it's just a box, unfortunately. It's old now. Pretty cool. Smell. <laughs> mm, yeah. Good year, tire lever included it's pretty dope pretty dope what is this um mountain mountain bike tire dang that's gonna be a little like 20 dollars sale 15 maybe i would definitely mountain. send that in, your, in our ebay pack. two models right here look at that 20 20 40 bucks right there in models just bam bam we're gonna make all of our money back in models i bet even more models 40 bucks again right there in models 20 dollar model again oh my god model galore Another model, that's a cheaper one. That's like seven bucks probably, but still, they add up, right? They add up. Yep, speaking of models, more models right here. Look, that's a bigger one. It might be a $50 one right there, or it could be a 25, but I would say at least another hundred bucks in models, and that's just like bare minimum. Honestly, it could be upwards of 200, depending on which model it is, because some of them are more rare. I'm guessing that's why they're more expensive. It's nice, like almost brand new ammo box. Could, could be some money more boxes of like random tool stuff like this not even just tools exactly look we have like this little funnel thing to help pour in the oil and stuff but we have a freaking whole chainsaw on here it's probably not worth too much it looks a bit used but it's gonna have some value at the market we might have to get 15 to 20 bucks i'm assuming you guys let me know if i'm even crazy for asking that price i don't really know hp printer looks like it's honestly in here like almost brand new right or am i wrong oh my goodness that's a brand new hp printer guys that's got to be some money not like crazy but like i'd say like like 80 maybe it looks like it's a newer one too right let's not guess right let's freaking just, let's figure out the price right now for you guys yeah i'd say at least 80 bucks i was right it was like 80 bucks at least not bad um anti-skid thread tape general ac manford gauge set i mean it looks to be in here like not new but like pretty pretty nice condition i don't know it's worth open this box says fishing it's pretty dope actually wait what are these you I think... can really tell an anal person by when they put their wait what is this they they got like... back in a little plastic what cup. the heck that's kind of cool i don't know these little like sauce containers those are fly fishing lures i'm saying like little sauce containers for these little lures that's kind of weird boom 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 even more fishing stuff okay fishing stuff and efficient stuff for now we're going to definitely set all that aside. yeah you guys aren't going to see these on the way no unfortunately if you guys did think we're gonna have some fishing stuff. It looks like the pirate is now in a fishing. <laughs> so we're gonna be keeping literally all of them, it looks like. He's just kind of an abundance of freaking lures. Oh my god, what are all these? Dang, this person just bought so many lures and just didn't even care to open them or use them. That's in Bass Pro Shop. There's no way that was cheap either. Stash on that left side, Mike. whole box he must have did a lot of bait fishing oh, oh my goodness. michael little jackpot there buddy look at that and are you keeping all these too for now we will yeah something so. like this i remember one time i was up in freaking humble and i caught like 13 steelhead in like 13 minutes with those i think it was one of these though a rooster tail comment below pickers warehouse what you think of this that's our that's our fishing guy There's he's gonna be like, he's stuff. gonna be like i want these Okay, we got a little box of lures, the used, older looking lures. Or, I don't know why I said lures, fishing reels. More lures? Not some reels. I don't know anything about reels. They look a little bit older and used, but could be worth some money still. This one is a nice one. That's a DVD player. Oh, there is an actual DVD player. Okay. There's money in DVDs though, I guess. I don't know. 
I don't think I ever said anything, but the car we can't keep, unfortunately. That is a nice light right there. That would be dope if we could keep it, but we get everything in the car, so we're going deep in here. We're getting everything out the back. There's our stuff back here. Jack stands. All right, that's 15 bucks. All right, and that is all for this unit, guys. We'll give you guys a little bit of a recap, maybe at the warehouse, do some more stuff there. But that is it. We emptied the unit. Unfortunately, get to keep the car. I don't even think he really wanted to keep it anyways, because, I mean, the unit would have went for crazy price if you can keep it also. But he doesn't really have the space for that. He has to keep space for other things than a freaking car.